I just upgraded my home security system. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a modular network and security system that you can deploy anywhere. Wait, is that a squirrel? We basically have a self-contained, redundant network. Just arrived in the mail. As he has power over Ethernet. 802.3 AF, which is the, the the weakest form of PoE, but it can power just about any single device you care about. Cameras, it can power access points. All right, so you've got your hard drive bay for storing protect videos. For my modular network that I'm putting together here, I'm going to put a two terabyte drive in here. So the property this is going into is going to have the G4 doorbell cam, and it's going to have three G3 flexes. So four cameras total. That's about all we can say about it uh, before we get it installed. So let's do that. I got this little miniature 4U rack case thing. I put a UPS in here, and on the back, I have a patch panel. We basically have a self-contained, redundant network. And this will be hardwired into a bunch of cameras and access points around the property. And all I have to do is put this together and plug it in to the existing wiring. Just like that. And it's really easy to screw this in when it's laying sideways. Storage drawer. It's just going to fit right in there under my UDM. And I can store extra cables and stuff in this little rack so that they're always there if I need something. As I mentioned, this is a two terabyte surveillance drive. And just as all the previous models, the drive just snaps right into this carrier here and slides back into the UDM. Got a patch panel on the back that everything external is going to come into. So I'm going to connect the front patch panel to the back patch panel first before I do anything else. One, nine, it's all connected, we can go ahead and screw this in. Things that's nice about having the UPS or even just a power strip if you don't want power redundancy installed right in here is it keeps cables clean. They don't have to travel very far. You only have one cable coming out of this modular rack. The thing with keystones is that you can, if you want, you can get blanks and put them in here if you're like really persnickety or if you're trying to optimize for airflow. In this case, the UDM and the UPS uh, have their own fans. They don't need any help, so I don't need to deal with blanks, but just know that that's an option. This is just a personal preference, but I like to use yellow for WAN. So set my WAN up like that. For everything else, use whatever color you want. Blue is perfectly adequate. And we're done. This is what finished product looks like from the front. WAN cable going to port one on the back. The rest of these going into two through eight. We've got our UDM SE with two terabyte hard drive that's easily swappable out. Got a drawer to keep stuff in, maybe a extra cable, some screws. Everything's ready to go.